Hello everybody and welcome back to Midnight at Dark where we play games at the dead of night. Most of the time, I'm your host Midnight and tonight we'll be playing Corpse Party Blood Drive. So let's get started. Yes everyone, this is a PlayStation Vita game. And it took me a bit to try to figure out how to record good quality onto the computer. But that's for late discussion later on. So let's get right down to it, shall we? Chapter Zero Blood Drive Chapter Zero A Faint Light It had been two months since the Book of Shadows incident. I'd been critically wounded by the back blow from the sorcery I've involved myself with, but Nakashima was there to carry me out from the crumbling Shinozaki estate. The two of us were picked up on the side of the old mountain road and rushed to a hospital where I was restored to stable condition. The grimoire responsible for so much of the horror everyone had been through, the Book of Shadows, was buried in the rubble of the estate when its roof collapsed. <laughs> ご視聴ありがとうございました<笑> サチコを失った
私は彼を初めに手を出したオカルト儀式のせいで出血多量の大怪我をしてます何週間も入院を余儀なくされてしまうと昨日退院してから初めて登校した木更木学園 私は校舎を見つめて身を覆めた。何年を見こぶれば、それも無残だった。ゆい先生たちのいない現実を嫌わなく思い知らされるから。篠崎。<laughs> Looks like you can finally move around. Alright. Let's see. Oh, Shinozaki! Yatto de Tiktaka!私はまだ知らなかった。全人症のあった多重閉鎖空間どころではない。現実のこの世界を。幸せの。おまじない好きだよねまたなんか新しいの仕入れなきゃママ今日は早番だといいなお腹すいちゃったママ<笑>
変死事件がまた起こりました死亡した中学生の佐久間理恵さんは背骨が折れた状態で発見されておりまったく転んだ拍子に落ちていた刃物でああも大怪我するなんて一体何をしていたの歩み日の絵みたいにまた幽霊がどうのとかオカルトまがいなことをしてるんじゃないでしょうねほっといてよもう、いつものこととはいえ、日の絵もどこへ行っているのやら。うちの娘たちは、親に心配ばかりかけて。いやー忙しい記憶A massive earthquake ripped through the basement of the Shinazaki estate, leaving it tethering on the edge of collapse. Worse still, the whole place was in flames. The Hinoe's lifeless body appeared as if shimmering in the fire's light. Red glinting off of red around the edges of the blaze that were rapidly sluicing her flesh. They danced around and threw her almost whimsically, prompting unnatural gyrations throughout her body without ever letting her so much as touch the ground. I grabbed onto Hanoi's body in a vain attempt to pull her to safety. But Hanoi used what little strength she had left to push me back. お姉ちゃんはいつもあなたの心の中にいますよ。I could distinctly hear those words in the back of my head, spoken in a soft, soothing voice. It was short lived, however, as the ceiling suddenly became webbed with cracks and fissures. And a massive beam fell from above, crushing her upper body entirely. Ah! 
With this, I shot to my feet and began running in circles, screaming uncontrollably. I would have run right into the rapidly spreading fire if Naomi hadn't caught me. My hands and feet were covered in red bruises and cuts from the swarm of blades that my spell had summoned. Naomi was bleeding as well, but nowhere near as badly. ぬしのわれたみんなの存在を取り戻すため、篠崎幸子と天神賞の呪い。その根源を私と中島さんの前に取り壊され、このように存在しないはずの篠崎教えと幸子の成果が現れた。その地下にあった古代の本、ブックオ
チンお前今日弁当だよな屋上で食おうぜああそうだな今日は天気も良さそうだし行くかおおすごい空だな雲が全然ない秋晴れだなこの辺で食べようしかしなんか妙に軽いな弁当箱よしき今日はなんだ時間あったから揚げ物にした相変わらず何でも作れるなお前は俺んちは昨日の残り物とかだよ多分いいじゃねえかよこの幸せ者がそうね。えっと、確か、庭…庭クオン先生…だっけあ This was our class TA, Miss Kuniwa, age 24. She was an English teacher with white hair, blue eyes, and a soft, Delicate voice. クラスメートの話によると、俺たちが天神小学校から戻ったある日から、ちょうど半年前にこの学校に赴任してきた先生らしいな。俺たちにその記憶はない。俺たちに忘れない。ユイ先生という別の先生がその立ち位置だったんだ。だからこのクオン先生には悪いけど。天神小学校から生還した俺たちはみんなこの事実に違和感を感じていたサトシ君ご飯がないの何が食べたいえ好きな食べ物はえあのカツ丼<sighs> Guess I'll have to buy some bread at the cafeteria or something. Okay, but you should probably hurry up. I mean, lunch has already started, so I doubt they have a whole lot left at this point. Ah, crap, you're right. Okay, wait here. I'll be right back. Hold the circle button while moving to sprint. Sprinting gradually drains your stamina, and if you ran out completely, you won't be able to move again for a short time. Your stamina will cover whenever you're not sprinting, however, so be sure to slow down every now and again. Oh, nice. <laughs> I could run. Uh, I'm gonna run. Oh. Hey, if you don't get a move on, they'll be out of bread for sure. I. I didn't make it. Shikata ne na. Ore no ebi fry i p o y a r i My eyes shone upon meeting those of the magnificent golden fried shrimp. ほんとか悪いなあーんも
持田聡様ですねえおお俺はいそうですけどお食事をお持ちいたしましたえっ The man in black handed over a liqueur box containing pork cutlet on rice with egg. Picture perfect in every way. It was my favorite meal down to the last detail. Yoshiki, utterly dumbfounded, loosened his grip on the fried shrimp he was holding. It plummeted to the ground. Defeated by his new contender. The classroom glowed with the golden hue of twilight, but my gaze was fixed at the floor. It must have been obvious to Nakashima that I had a lot on my mind. She asked this as she sat down at the desk in front of me, facing backward. She was trying to comfort me. But she had dark circles around her eyes, too. She and I must have looked very similar to one another. From an outside perspective, my left hand was still wrapped in bandages. It throbbed insensibly, reminding me of the previous night's events. I ignored it as best as I could and forced an empty smile. I couldn't bring myself to answer that. I just flashed another smile, a confusing one that must have looked very strange to her, and left the classroom. なんだかお前詰めてるみたい。私たちでフォローしてあげた方がいいかも。お前もだよ、ナオミ。無理していないか。大丈夫。辛いのは私だけじゃないし。私一人甘えてられないもの。委員長、変な気起こさなきゃい
あなたを追って旧篠崎家跡地へ向かう前に日の江は私に最後の連絡をくれていました姉ちゃんがきっと自分の運命を理解してそして受け入れていたのね精霊は人の四季を教えてくれるの<笑>その分できる精一杯の行動と覚悟が持てる彼女は立派だったわ Tears began to pour from my eyes, and I could do nothing to stop them. I had been sitting up in my bed, but unconsciously started to curl into a fetal position as best as I could with the bandages. Yamamura put her hand on my back to comfort me. Ayumi chan. 日の絵の意思を伝えるわ<笑>黒の本ブック・オブ・シャドウズを取り戻しなさい代々篠崎家が守り続けてきた門外不出の禁忌の書よあの本が心ないものの手に渡ればこの世は混乱の淵に落とされてしまう私たち WI は精霊と心を通わせる自然の意志にただ沿おうとする白魔女の組合ご両親の反対を押し切って篠崎家から飛び出した日の絵は今さら関わるのをためらっていたのだけれど近年その存在を感じるようになってずっと気にしていたの私とウィッカの仲間で調べたけれど篠崎義恵と幸子の屋敷跡地にはなかったわ更地だったはずのあの場所に焼け焦げた家の梁や瓦礫が現れていて驚いたけれどけれどあの場所からは消えても感じるの存在はまだ残っているこの世のどこかに Yamamura looked directly into my eyes この町にあなたや篠崎義恵と同じ篠崎家の血筋の方が住んでいたのは知っているかしら Yamamura pulled a notepad from her pocket and carefully wrote a name and address on the top sheet. She then tore the page and handed it to me. Makina Shinozaki I knew that name. It was on the family tree. Makina, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the h o そのマキナさんの家に行けば何か黒の本を取り戻すための手がかりが残されているかもしれない私たちは霊に対する感受性が強すぎて部屋に入ることもできなかったわ何が起こるかわからないけれど日の江の意志を継ぐ強さがあるのなら頑張ってみなさい And with that, Yamamura simply turned and left the hospital room. On the other side of the door, a peculiar girl stood in wait. As soon as Yamamura had covered enough distance to put me out of earshot, the two of them spoke. Yamamura ran away as quickly as she could without drawing attention to herself. As if in response, the intimidating girl in the peculiar outfit spat on the hospital wall. 
As she mumbled these words, she sneaked a sidelong glance at me in my room. I was completely oblivious. It was time to meet my fate. I had no trouble locating Mikina's residence. I don't know what I was expecting, but what I found was just an ordinary apartment building. I couldn't involve Mochida and the others in this. They'd been through enough already. Besides, this is a family matter. My bloodline was responsible for this whole mess. So it was only right that I be the one to make amends. Alone. Whenever you see a candle on the map, you can examine it to restore your HP and save your game. Okay, wow, that was quite an intro. Anyway, I'm gonna go save to this candle right now. That's right, save for save data. Yes, do I do want to save. Thank you. And complete. So, I think we hit the end of this road. So, as you can tell everyone, this is gonna be a long series, long episodes. And I hope you enjoyed this game so far as much as it sounds like. So, this is your host saying good night, good morning, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Yeah.